Hey everybody, SciStarCraft here, and my opponent for this game is going to be Benzuka with a 1344 rating, 132 and 92. He is a Terran player. And a quick confession I want to make to you guys, I have not been playing one-on-one -on -one pretty much at all lately. I could give you a variety of excuses, I had no mouse or I was busy with other stuff, yada yada yada. But uh, the real reason is just, uh, I just haven't, just because I, you know, there's a long road ahead for me. You can see here I've fallen way behind in my games played but I'm gonna start playing my goal is to win five games every day and uh, you know if I'm enjoying myself I will even go over that five games and just for those of you who are uh, curious about my match history um, I'm working on my five wins for today looks like I have a 2v2 yesterday and I played five games today I actually disconnected from this game the Zelnaga Caverns game but I'm working on it so you guys should see me in the top 200 within a week hopefully that is my goal so uh, let's get started here uh, with the replay. Yeah, you get to see the whole process. Awesome. I'm sure you love this. Okay, here we go. We have Sai on the bottom left as the red Zerg, and as I said before, Benzuka as the blue Terran in the top right. And uh, this is on Steps of War. I think I already said that. But uh, I, I actually played in control a couple of games ago. Like, uh, I think it was yesterday or the day before. He ended up beating me. I tried some, like, crazy mass ling, mass infester build with Burrow. Neural Parasite. Actually, it was uh, it was Monday. Wow, was it that long ago? It was Monday because it was pre-patch. I remember that much. But he ended up stomping me, so that's going to suck. It's probably going to rub it in when I go on the state of the game on Monday. I'm going to be joining JP, uh, Day9, Noni, and In Control on state of the game. It's Monday at 8.30 Central Time, something like that. I'll have to update you and let you know. But yeah, that'll be a lot of fun. And uh, hopefully, you know, I'll have enough to say because they talk a lot about the GSL and esports and that kind of stuff. And I don't really follow it too much. But hopefully there will be some topics where, you know, I can give my input on gameplay and that sort of thing. Where I thrive on the gameplay and the statistics and that sort of stuff. That would be cool. So this is, yeah, this is the second or third time I played Benzuka. I think I beat him both of the times beforehand. And, uh, yeah, you can see that's why I said there's no one else on tonight. But this is actually a really fun game. It's You can learn a lot from it. First of all, he's building a forward barracks. Very, very strange. I haven't scouted it yet. I'm going my typical 15 pool, 14 gas. And I actually did do the mineral trick. And I think the mineral trick, the 7% mineral trick, is pretty cool. Just because you're going to notice that your first overlord, you're always going to have 100 minerals for that. Um, for your first two drones after your overlord pops. And you actually get 200 minerals before 15 drones, which is pretty surprising. I'm not used to seeing that. So you actually have to throw down your geyser around 14 train back up to 14 and then then throw down your pool if you want to make the best use of the build so yeah we are seeing an early barracks i sent my drone around 14 and there's already a barracks out so he probably placed that around 10 or so fast overload command just now getting his refinery so yeah you can tell just because refineries usually are being made while the barracks is being trained but it's not in this case pool is up and yep pool is a little bit early not quite at 100 minerals and 100 gas my drone wasn't able to scout too much because of that marine. I think, no, I didn't even see that barracks out there. So not able to gather too much information so far. Four lings are on the way. And look at this fancy new production tab. Isn't that awesome? Four lings, or two lings coming. And you can see how close they are to being done. You can even highlight them and see the time. So that's pretty neat. Metabolic boost coming. 27, 28, 29, 30. Yada, yada, yada. Three marines. Four marines already out. This could be because he doesn't have a wall off for whatever reason and he wants to wall it off with the marines or because he's going to be applying early pressure with these marines. Usually it's going to be the latter. If you see four marines this early in the game, get a lot of zerglings or even get a spine crawler. Get something because you're probably going to need it. Sixlings poking up here, seeing all those marines. And I am scared right now, people. I am just going to start massing out the marines or the zerglings. And we can see his economy took a small hit because he's pumping out so many marines so early. Another rack's going down as well as a factory. How many lings do I have? I'm getting eight more zerglings. And what I want to do is I want to come up here. I'm, I'm assuming his marines are still going to be positioned right here because if he comes up here, I'll pick away at his racks. If he comes down here, I can run up. So I'm assuming they're going to be right here. And I want to get, you know, 12 or so lings, maybe more, and try to surround these marines and just whittle down his army. And, you know, once I do that, if you successfully kill an enemy's army, you can pretty much just, like, drone up like crazy right after that. It's really awesome. We are saying I have 14 Zerglings. 
One Hellion coming out, though. I need to make my move before that Hellion comes in. Is it going to happen? Doesn't look like it's going to happen. Transferring some drones to my expansion. Gas uh, is a little bit late. My expansion is up. You usually want to put your guys back on gas before your expansion is up. I didn't do that this time. And here come the Lings. I have 20, 16 Lings against uh, some Hellion, a Hellion and a handful of Marines. Here we go. Nice round on the Marines. I should have run up to the Hellion and tried to get a surround on him. Hopefully you guys can hear me because this is really loud in my speakers. Holy crap. There we go. That's a little better. I was able to kill a lot of uh, Marines. If we look at the units loss tab, he actually lost 350. I lost 400. So I killed 7 Marines. He killed what is 400. Um, brain fart, 16 lings. That's what I said before. Second wave has been produced, however. And notice I am getting drones because I'm pretty sure the second wave is going to do a lot of damage to him. Second Hellion is up, however. Running through, trying to get into his Hellions. He's not marking the Hellions as best as he could. He could have run down a little bit slow on this. It's around the 1300 level, so uh, don't judge too much. Third Hellion is coming out. I was able to clear out all those Marines and those two Hellions. And this third one is probably going to be too much for me. I'm just kind of attack moving it. Now I'm going to run out. No sense in losing those Zerglings. Harvester tab, 27 to 22, getting a spine just to deal with any kind of Hellions and expanding my creep. Very, very nice. Pretty standard play so far. No expansion, so um, if a player doesn't have an expansion, he's not even getting a command center. Like, do whatever you can to survive. It doesn't matter if you're not going to get any drones for like three minutes. Do anything you can to survive, and here in a moment you're going to see I do just that. Because if he doesn't have a command server, well he's getting one now, but if he's going to be massing up a lot of units, he has to do something with them if he's not going to expand, otherwise he's going to fall too far behind. And you want to spawn by getting a lot of uh, defenses. You can see here I am getting another spine, just because I feel pretty comfortable because I cleared out his units. He's got a lot more marines, a lot more hellions. And I send in, I'm sending in a little uh, zergling patrol force and a couple of sacrificial overlords as well. Zerglings, seeing the Italians, seeing the Marines, seeing the expansion as well. Maybe sent in a little bit too many. Uh, lucky to lose only three or four of them. Three of them in the red actually. And this is where I, uh, I'm i like, okay, late late expansion. I need something to defend. There's no way I can survive if he comes at me uh, you know, soon. Which luckily he didn't because he's killing my overlords. And you're going to see me spine, spine, spine. We are seeing um, drone, 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 zerglings. There's the zerglings. Three spines, a roach warren, because roaches are okay against marines and good against hellions. And not SCV coming in as well to repair. I like that. And these overlords are frantically running. Run, overlords. You're so fat and balloony. Finally, barely getting a creep tumor up. That's going to be nice for the creep up there. And two spines. Okay, right now I have two spines. Three spines halfway done. And only about six lings, but these spines are just so strong against these uh, Hellions and Marines. Marines do lots of shots of small damage, and spines actually have two armor. Very neat. Lots of Zerglings swarming in, so if he does approach here and uh, get within range of the spines, I'll send my Zerglings in, try to eat up a lot of damage. And he's probably smart to not move in here. It'd be a pretty close battle, to be honest, but now those three spines come up. A lot more Zerglings swarming in, and he really has no choice but to back up at this point. Could I send my Zerglings in here? No, that'd be a terrible idea. Four Hellions and tons of Marines with SCV on, uh, not auto-repairing, should be auto-repairing. That'd be a terrible idea, so I'm just going to macro, macro, macro hard. Getting a tech lab on that factory, probably to prepare a siege tank to bomb away at these spine crawlers. And even getting some Banelings here. Do I have a lot of tech? Yeah, it looks like I dropped pretty much every tech in the book. I've got Hydras, I've got a Roach Warren, I've got a Baneling Nest. And the reason I got Hydras against Terran, even though Hydras are so bad against Terran, is that I was expecting some kind of infantry infantry transition just because he had these Raxes up already. And, I was, and these two as well. Did I see those? Yeah, I did see those, so I know what I'm talking about. And I was uh, assuming he wouldn't have too many tanks out, and Hydras do okay against Marines and Hellions. Phone! Someone texted me saying AIDS. My friends are great. And a couple banelings as well. Whoa, stim pack looks awesome. Whoa. That's cool. You can tell by my voice that my, my face is really close to the monitor and I'm checking out the stim pack. <sighs> Breaking down the rocks. Banelings don't want to break down the rocks because if they do that, they will die. I wonder if anyone's actually been so eager to expand that they just like took a clump of banelings banelings, and just like bleh, and destroyed the rocks that way. That'd be pretty cool. Heavy in the Marines, heavy in the Hellions still. 
Rallying some roaches up here. Roaches. Good for taking out tanks. Better than anything else on the ground, except maybe ultras, but that doesn't count because they're tier 3 and they're really hard to get. And of course, mutas are very good. Uh, indeed. Indeed. <clears throat> Second base is nicely, nicely saturated. Harvester count 53 to 38. 53, a very good number to see. Maybe a couple more on each would be better. No, they're looking pretty good. Dude, I want to play Civilization, Civilization 5. Like, it's gonna, it'd be such a time sink though, so I don't want to do that. I want to focus on Starcraft, but how many of you want to play Civilization? Civilization. Fuck you, voice! Fuck! Turn away from the microphone for a second so I wouldn't be screaming into it. It's late, man. It's like 3 a.m., okay? Cut me some slack. I went to the gym today. That doesn't happen very often. <laughs> it's gonna be a while till I go again, most likely. One tank, lots of marines, lots of hellions, yada yada yada. I'm waiting for the climax because that is my favorite part. Ah, uh, any windows, any windows. Yes. Whoa, where did those roaches come from? That's what full saturation lets you do, people. Matched roaches. What the heck? Loading up the roaches in the overlords. I totally missed it, but I researched uh, the carapace and ventral sacks. Did you see that? Oh, when they drop people, they like spit out goo. I love this new mouse. I got an MX-18. I'm just like rambling. I'm just like, okay, I need to give you guys some kind of replay, so uh, I'm just going to pick this game that I played and start rambling the whole time. More banlings popping out. They do have the centrifugal hooks, but I won't need centrifugal hooks because they're going to be inside the overlords. That's right. Banling drop. And the reason I did this is because I knew this composition would work. I knew, okay, he's got marines, tanks, and hellions. Banlings rape the marines and hellions in the face, and uh, roaches can clean up you know, the tanks. He's only got two tanks. And so I'm going to attempt this nifty little baneling drop. Preferably, I would have an investor or two, but here we go. I'm going to actually slow it down because this is going to happen very, very fast. Overlord's leading the way because... Uh, I should actually put these guys in front. Overlord le leading the way. Terran players don't really focus overlords. No one really focuses overlords or anything like that. Let me speed it up a little bit. And here they go. I'm sending them in at almost exactly the same time. Very nice timing here. You can see right there. And I'm going to drop all of these units on top of everything. Boom, boom. Tons of Marines dead. Those horses are going to clean up down there. Moving my Overlords up. Once you drop, once you... <laughs> oh my god, that was so one-sided. Once you start dropping with your Overlords, like once I move this and press D and click on it, you can move it wherever you want, and it will continue dropping. So you can just like use it as a hunter seeker missile or something like that. But everything is just cleaned out, and he didn't even realize where those banelings came from. They came from the sky, my friend. It's called a baneling carpet bomb. Boom! And I'm just going to clean out his base, but uh, he leaves. Uh, I don't mind the non-GG because he's like, oh, nice play, and then he just leaves. You don't really need to GG if you're going to make a comment like that. But uh, a, a good game. Uh, an okay game. I hope you guys enjoyed the Baneling drop and uh, the, the play revolving the Marines and the Zerglings and what that meant. And what it meant is I needed to get a defense. So, uh, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. And look for me on the ladder. I'm going to be up in the top 200 one week. Mark my words. Why am I shouting? Bye-bye.